Hi, uh, welcome to the last part of my Red Hat J4 Studio's Home Loan Quick Start demo. Um, in this series of demo, we're trying to show you how to build the J4 Studio's application from scratch. And for this seventh part of the demo, which is the last part, I'm going to show you how to deploy the application onto Fuse Fabric. So as you can see, now we have finished building all of the application. So how do we deploy it? Um, first of all, um, there's a few things. Um, we're going to start up a JBoss Fuse um, fabric. The fabric is actually con in control of creating all the different containers and running instance and creating the brokers and everything. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to use our uh, Maven plugin, which is provided uh, by JBoss Fuse. And with this Maven plugin, we're going to deploy our, uh, through this Maven plugin plus Fabric, we're going to deploy our application onto the running instance, which is the container. So how, how does it do that? So first of all, um, we're going to actually use the Maven plugin. And the, um, the command line for that is uh, Fabricate Deploy. So through Fabricate Deploy, what it does, it's going to, um, it, it's going to actually upload a profile onto the fabric itself and register it in, in the, inside the fabric. And then on the fabric side, we are going to create a container. And on this container, we are going to actually edit the profile onto the container so that the profile will start running on this running instance, which is the container. And um, so on the container itself, we're also going to add features. Features are sort of like a library sets of what we're going to need um, to run our applications. And then because we have multiple uh, profiles, because it's a microservices, we want to actually um, deploy our applications onto different containers so we could distribute them elsewhere. So we're going to add um, deploy multiple profiles onto multiple containers. So here is how you do it. So here I'm going to start by actually adding the Maven plugin configurations into my uh, Maven file. So they are in uh, every, uh, four of my applications, uh, palm.xml file. And the name for this Maven plugin is uh, Fabricate. And uh, so it's, uh, it's called IO Fabricate, Fabricate Maven plugin, which is uh, very obvious. So after um, adding all the four Maven plugins, I'll have to do some configurations. So what basically what the configurations are, are merely, first of all, its name. Of course, I need to give um, a profile name inside, um, inside my fabric. And the other is the parent profile. So what sort of things that I need, um, I need to inherit uh, from previous profile. So in here, I'm using the camel, uh, camel profile that is already uh, uh, that's already inside uh, Maven, and also the bundles and the features I need to um, to be uh, used within my profiles. So I'm I'm going back to my fuse, and here you see I'm actually creating the fabric uh, inside my uh, fuse. So once I have my fabric ready, I can start deploying um, my my profiles. So the command line for it is uh, fabricate deploy. Just um, deploying it into um, every one of my application. Just want to make sure that they are all uh, deployed into fabric. So with uh, with deploy. I'm actually not deploying my applications or the entire code base onto Fabric. I'm only I'm only uploading all the configuration necessary configurations and where my my actual programs are in um, in this profile. And what happens is um, when I'm actually deploying it onto a real running instance, which is a container inside Fabric, it's going to look up you know the configuration settings in the profile and then download at the available um, 
you know, jars or features that are needed in uh, for, for running this application. So here I just log into um, our Maven console and um, what I'm doing now is I'm actually deploying, doing the actual deploying of um, the profile onto a running instance. And in here we call it the container. So I'm actually deploying my container and, and deploying my profile into the container. So you see now the containers are actually busy running and what they're doing is they're resolving all the configurations within my um, profile and try to download um, everything. And here you see it's downloading from the Maven repository because um, we have specified that the uh, profile should be uh, are on the Maven. So everything are uh, configured using Maven. So once I get all four application um, installed and deployed, I have all four run instance. Now um, I'm going to every individual console view of, um, of the containers because we're using a microservices uh, way of deploying. So all applications are um, deployed independently on um, different running instance. Here you will see all the all the camel routes that are available on different containers. So see that you know sometimes I have different routes in um, the same single constants because I think they all most basically does the same thing. So I'll just put them together. And um, and here is another one which does the uh, the web services with them. Things. So here are the camera routes and stuff. So um, let's see how it runs. So I'm just placing a, a, a customer information into the, uh, the file that is receiving. And if you go back to the, uh, go back to the route uh, view, you'll see the, the number of minutes it takes or the statistics view of um, how each uh, route is running. So here are just some of the statistics statistic views and um, there is a another debug mode that is available in fabric it is really useful um, so what happens is we could now start debugging and adding the debugging endpoint into the uh, uh, into the and start up debugging and add it into debugging mode and when I place my uh, my files into the folder, I'll see the contents that I have received in the camera route, and I'll see all the bodies and header contents as well. And uh, same as here, you'll see all the different headers and the body, different body contents that is available in this route. So this is really cool for uh, debugging in Fabric. And lastly, I just want to show you, if you go to the um, container that is running the web services, here you see that uh, it's going to give you the uh, absolute the URLs and the things that are available uh, with the rest, rest of the services. And now I'm just trying to run it to show you how it works. So cool, we have finished our uh, demo and I hope you, you enjoy this series of um, Home Quick Start demo and I hope to see you very soon.